Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Chuggalos. Today is day 10? Day 10, right? Day Dayton? Hey! Uh, yeah, day, day 10 of the Brew Crew Christmas Advent Calendar Especial. We have got Bissell Brothers. Fo focus! Precept. Precept? Precept. 5.6%. This is a Pilsner. Precept Pilsner. Glad I don't have like a boom mic. I would be pissing some people off right now. Um, yeah. Let's uh, grab my keys real quick. I've got my ugly Christmas sweater on. It's uh, Santa hitting some some gnarly leg press. It's pretty cool. And uh, let's get right into it. We'll get uh, it's a bottle, and I can. It's a, don't be a dick. Shout out Barrel House, always. Probably won't get too much of a crack, but of course my bottle cap just rolled all over the floor. Ooh, no moment. All right, we're back in action. So, Bissell Brothers Precept 5.6% Pilsner. Let's, uh, let's, let's drink about it. This is a great song by uh, great song by Issues. Huh. There's something here. There's something here more than. What is that fucking flavor, dude? Ah, oh, God. Not a, like, disgusted, oh, God. I know that might have sounded like it. I'm on their website over here taking a look. Let's see if I can control F in this bizatch. Learn more. Precept. This is a German style Pilsner. Main Pils malt base hopped with Saaz, S A A Z, and Mittelfru, and horizontal, horizontally lagered for over a month. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a beer maker, so I'm not going to act like I know what that means. I would think. In the grand scheme of things, everything would get horizontally lagered. Um, beats the crap out of me, man. Um, a little bit about Bissell Brothers. Uh, they started in 20, 2011, actually. Excuse me. Conceived in 2011 by two brothers, Noah and Peter. Shout out. Um... And they are based out of Maine. <clears throat> Portland, Maine. First Bissell Bros uh, tap room opened in April of 2014. And boom. That's all she wrote. No, there, I mean, there's a lot more to it, actually. I, I kind of glossed over a lot of the, 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 a lot of the stuff. On their About Us page, they have their ethos code of conduct, um, a lot of photo, document, photo, paragraph, paragraph, photo, photo, paragraph. so there's a lot of, a lot of stuff, there's a, there's a our team, uh, department, or area, which I always think is awesome, if you watched the episode, uh, with JT and I yesterday in my basement, um, that would probably that probably would have been about a good 60 to 75 percent of our video was just judging the two characters on the two. Uh, we were very much judging the book by its cover. Um, so I'm 
sorry. I don't know how else to to explain it. Um, one thing I will say that I love, absolutely love about the our team on this website, down at the very bottom, they've got two puppy dogs, and it seem to be uh, shop dogs, and I love that. Earlier today, I was at One Love Skate Shop, um, and they have a shop cat, and her name is Lana, and I love her. She is a sweet, sweet kitty cat. God, there is just a distinct flavor in this. There is a very... Uh, what the hell? It's like one of those things that as soon as I finish recording this episode, I'm going to remember it and feel like an a-hole. So, maybe in the next episode you'll see that. I will maybe let's see I've got I'll grab the list here uh, based on let's see this will be our this is a Pilsner actually we had I was, I was gonna start comparing this to Ot Otakringer but that's a lager and there is a difference what it is and how to elaborate on the difference it's not my job I'm just the guy that drinks the beer and fucking talks about it. I don't know what else you want from me. This, it goes down really easy. It's incredibly refreshing. Uh, I just got done making gingerbread houses at my grandparents' house, uh, and that was a blast. But hell, this, uh, There's just a a really odd, I don't know if it's like a, I, I can't say skunky. It's like not the immediate flavor when you take a, a drink and not that, that after flavor after you swallow. But it just kind of sits on the tongue for just a second and then you're... It's, it's it's crisp. It's it'd be a really good pool beer. Certainly, I could imagine it'd be a really good pool beer. Uh, and to my knowledge, this is not the last Bissell Brothers we will have. Um, uh, uh, good Lord, I'm. It's not a very uh, effervescent beer. Um, but it's giving me the, the, the belches, brother. But, uh, all right, let me get another fat swig. We'll, uh, we'll make a decision here. Today's, uh, today's tunes brought to you by 80s Retro Synthwave. Um, copyright free music, of course. Nobody, uh, nobody wants to get a copyright strike. So we do our best to avoid that. I am kind of, kind of on the edge, on the fence about this one. It's, it's nothing to write home about. Um, I think it's all right. I've certainly had worse beer. I've certainly had better beer. This is kind of, and I. I can't necessarily say, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume we're kind of getting into the the downward of the... It was about, about beginning of week two. There's a little bit of a lull. At least there was last year. Uh, and that's no fault of Svills, of course, for making the list. But I think it's just how the, the ebbs and flows of the, uh, of the list goes. It's just... It just be like that sometimes. They say it don't be like it is, but it do. 
Let me finish this bad boy off. Went down incredibly easy um, for a 5.6. Uh. I'm going to say... This is a 2.75. Um, not Probably not something I would reach for again. Probably not something I'm going to remember. Only reason I would is because I'm feeling reminiscent and rewatch a video. Specifically this one. Or one of the ones that the other guys have done. So, day, day 10. Shout out, day 10. Um, 2.75. Bissell Brothers. Precept. 5.6%. My love for you is 100%. Have a great rest of your life. Bye.